The Finnish education system is one of the most admired worldwide, but today we are in Helsinki because it's the headquarters of the European Chemicals Agency. The ECHA was opened in 2007. Close to the agency, students of various nationalities are learning the new hazard symbols. They are introduced by the classification, labeling, and packaging regulation of the EU and will become compulsory by 2015. Pupils, today we are going to learn the new pictograms that are about the uh, dangerous chemicals we are using here at laboratories, at school, uh, in industry and of course at, at home. Soon we are going to have the competition that who will the, be the quickest to find the right labels. Of course those who get the right answers, they will also get these kind of prizes for you. The students learn the new hazard symbols in three different ways. Through this game, watching this explanatory video, and in action with this experiment. What are the pupils' opinions? Are they interested in the new symbols? It's not only for the professions, but also for just general knowledge. You know, like, like if you have a cleaning product at home in the future and it has one of the new symbols on, then, I mean, it's useful to know what it means. Then just be like, uh-oh. I want to be a marine biologist. These signs will be pretty useful because I'm going to be talking about chemicals that get into sea, like the oil spills. Uh, we need the chemicals when we are doing experiments, so we need to know them, so uh, we need to know if we have to have gloves and uh, uh, protection. Those signs might be, let's say, on a shampoo, so I know what they mean. So, yeah, if they're, for example, corrosive, let's say, I know not to put them on my hands. The school was founded in 2008 for the children of ECHA employees. The center has 220 students. More than half of the parents work at ECHA. So our school differs from other schools because uh, we have three different language accents. We have the French, we have the English, and we have the Finnish accent. So the pupils can study in one of these languages. Jay Quinty teaches in English and French. In his class, his students check how dangerous some of the chemicals are. Now, we're going to see how sodium reacts with water. We're going to also see how sodium burns what, what is the color it produces when it burns? Science is all about the demonstrations, the practicals. It's important for them not to only see that all the time, always writing. It's also very important for them to see the demonstrations. Also, the students learn the hazard symbols through this video, a system used by French teacher Frédéric Maximilian. En fait, aujourd'hui, on a décidé de faire trois ateliers. Un atelier vidéo, il y a certains élèves qui vont pouvoir apprendre grâce à la vidéo. On fait un atelier avec des expériences, d'autres élèves vont préférer apprendre avec les expériences. Et on va faire aussi un atelier avec les jeux, et d'autres élèves, eux, vont préférer apprendre avec les jeux. Donc là, on aura quand même fait le tour des différentes manières d'apprendre les choses. This game has been created by the ECHA. The new hazard symbols are introduced by the classification, labeling and packaging regulation of the EU and will become compulsory by 2015. This European agency has two missions. The senior scientific officer, Gabriel Schwenning, explains them to us. The task of ECHA is to implement the EU chemicals legislation, which has two main elements. One is REACH for registration of chemicals, and the second one is CLP, the regulation on classification, labeling and packaging of chemicals. To celebrate the International Year of Chemistry 2011 and the birthday of the most famous female scientist, the European Chemicals Agency has inaugurated officially November 7th its conference center named after Marie Sklodyskova-Kiri.